Oh, yeah, the work is definitely piling on. <laughs> Truth is, if I didn't have Palmer helping me catch this psycho, I don't know what I'd do. Yeah. You know, when he got here, I... And the stuff the newspapers are saying, is it true? What are the newspapers saying? The girl who was killed. She filed a sexual harassment complaint against the mayor. What about the other victims? Were they harassed by the mayor, too? Well, it, it's hard to say. Is it true? So far, the mayor's the only thing we have connecting the victims, but only one of them filed a complaint against him, and she withdrew it a few days later. Someone must have pressured her, but uh, it's hard to say anything for sure. But is it true? Do you think it's true? Well, let's just say it seems like it might be. What's the matter? The mayor raped me. Can you repeat that? The mayor of Freeburg, Stuart Rogers? He raped me. You heard me right. When did this happen? Four and a half years ago when I was just out of college. They gave a reception for us at City Hall. Rogers gave a speech and there were a few other speakers than dinner. I drank the champagne, it was hot out, the music was loud. I was feeling dizzy so I went to take a breath in a quiet corner. I found a conference room, then a few minutes later the mayor came in with his guard. Rogers whispered something to the guard and the guard left. I, I didn't have time to figure out what was going on. Rogers just walked up to me, grabbed me by the throat and squeezed, and then he began to rape me. This went on. It lasted about ten minutes. Look, Lana, it would be very difficult to prove anything at this point, but You it... wouldn't have to prove anything. I have a videotape. A video? A recording from a surveillance camera. A cassette. The raping mayor, sitting in my closet next to Kramer versus Kramer. But how... Six months after it happened, someone slipped the cassette under my door. This was the same time the city administrator, Mary Simmons, was dismissed. Quite a scandal, if you recall. I think that must have to do with it. Lana, don't, don't worry about a thing. We'll use this tape and ambush the bastard. No, we're not going to do that. Lana, listen to me. You need it's to... It's been four years. Don't you think I've had time to think things through? I already decided I'm not pressing charges. Lana, whatever you've been thinking, I promise you, it would be better if No, you... it wouldn't be better. For the past few years, I've worked hard so that people would take me seriously, so they'd respect me as a professional. If I step forward now, I ruin all my efforts, my whole future and I'll destroy my one chance to make this city better. I'll be a sympathy case, I'll be humiliated, and then I'll be attacked. And the one thing I won't ever get again is respect. Lana, you're talking about covering up a crime. I'm doing it because I know it's the right thing to do. Then you're a fool. Oh my God, I, I just, I made a mistake. Just forget everything I said. Lana, La Lana! Shit. Shit!
progress. Looks like we have a situation here. Yeah, understood. Thank you very much, Walt. Sorry again for waking you up. Give my regards to Jean. Okay, got got to run. Hey, hey, Martin, wait a minute. Martin, you still hang around with uh, Bo Berenger? Of course. In fact, he's my stepfather. Great. Think he has a couple of men available today, right now, in fact? There's something important I need taken care of. Um, sure. Something you need help moving? Uh, not exactly. Here's the address. I need this house watched. All day and all night until I say stop. If anyone suspicious goes poking around, tie him up and bring him here. I'll pay double the usual rate. Or triple. Whatever he needs. And nobody else knows about this, right? Jack, they're more into looking after valuables, not houses. What's the difference? Well, these guys probably wouldn't care either way. Okay, Jack, no problem. I'll make the call. As for your retirement, I've been... Uh, let's focus on today, Martin. Now keep that house secure, all right? Okay, okay. I have a phone in the car. I'll call Bo right away. I appreciate it, Martin. Believe me, I do. Hey, Jack. Yeah? Anything else I need to know about this? Uh, no. Better you don't. Hello? I'm an addict. Please, I don't want... Listen to me, Lana. R I really am an addict. For 20 years now, give or take. I've been lying to myself that I'm in control of the situation, and sometimes it really seems like I am, but sometimes in the more desperate moments, I become completely dependent on the pills. And it's just dumb luck that I haven't killed myself. Or someone else. More than a few times, I've come pretty close. I've been stoned while I'm driving was even stoned once during a firefight. I've been on drugs while I made decisions where dozens of lives were on the line. When I'm overworked, I need the pills. That's my problem. It's my weakness. But I always knew that if I admit my weakness, if I start talking about the problem publicly, if I go to rehab, then I'm already as good as retired. They'll take advantage of the scandal and get rid of me forever. 
It doesn't matter all the good work I'm trying to do at the police department. They'll just bury me. So I'm keeping my problem a secret, at least until I can retire. I have to. I know it's the right thing to do. You realize, Jack, this is the first time you ever called me? What? You called me this time. I thought you were just waiting for me to stop bugging you, but now you called me and you opened up, even though you didn't have to. <laughs> Maybe you're stoned? What? I... <laughs> no, I'm not stoned right now. Well, Jack, I guess you need me as much as I need you. I need you more than you need me. Now I know you're stoned. Lana, I'm... You were... I heard everything you said, Jack. I understood everything just fine. You don't need to say anything else. Right, exactly. Say no more. progress.
913 